Hey, good morning guys, um, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another episode of the Stroker build. Um, this is the one most people have been asking me about when waiting for um, to see what it runs like. I have had it running. Um, I've taken for a quick test drive just around the estate um, just to warm it up and make sure it gets up to temperature and there's no leaks or any noises. Um, everything seems fine at the moment. Um, so I'm going to hopefully get a video today, um, get it out, do a couple of donuts, um, show you what it's like. Um, so stay watching and uh, hopefully you enjoy. for um, a little spin around the estate. Can't go far because um, there's quite a lot of traffic around. It's quite busy on a Saturday so I've also got no power steering on the car at the moment, if you're wondering why I'm struggling to turn it, I'm with a well with this, I don't have.
so this is the car how it stands at the moment as I said it's only a temporary car just to test the engine um, it'll be eventually going in my drift car um, but that's how she sits the M50 um, B30 stroker this is just temporary until I get um, a CCV and install that um, but at the moment it's all uh, running fine seems to have plenty of power uh, so that's how it is at the moment um, so basically next on the list now is um, I have to sort out the exhaust because it's uh, broken a few places so I just need to do some repairs on the exhaust and get that sorted it needs new injector seals because they're not seating right they're ticking a little bit um, so I need to do them I have them ordered so once they come and stick them in and then the main thing I'll need to map it um, we're probably going to map it ourselves I've been speaking to a few people um, who've done this before and it's not a hard job uh, should be pretty uh, straightforward we've got the software to do it um, we've done other maps um, previously anyway for like E36 M52s and so on um, but this one will just be a bit more in depth um, so we're going to have a look at doing that ourselves um, seeing if we can get it to do, we'll do a couple of logs um, seeing where the issues are there's a couple of flat spots throughout the rev range but really it feels um, much better than the 2.8 that's my um, thoughts on it at the moment it's definitely faster than the standard 2.8 or 2.5 and um, it has more power it spins um, 18 inch wheels up pretty easy um, which a, a 2.8 um, in second gear wouldn't spin them up as easy in the dry well not any of the ones I've had anyway um, this one seems pretty decent so hopefully um, it'll be reliable and um, once you get it mapped um, what I'll do then once it's mapped I'll take it to a dyno and see what power it's going to make um, but so far I'm happy um, and that's basically it so the next episode will probably be us doing a bit of tuning on it and seeing if we can get it to run better um, I'll probably have to tidy the car up that it's in and maybe get an MOT on it as well just so I can take it out onto the road and um, give it some proper testing because as you can see from the videos I um, can't really do much around the industrial estate and um, there's no tax or MOT or insurance on it so I can't take it out onto the road at the moment uh, so that would be next on the list just get the engine running right and um, get an MOT on it, get it mapped and uh, then see where we go from there, may potentially turbo in the future, um, who knows, but once again thanks for watching, um, watching the whole series, it's not finished, um, it's just I'll come back to it every now and again once I do a bit more, um, but if you're liking the videos uh, make sure to subscribe and thank you very much.